Hi, hello, how are you? It's Ching. Okay, it's Qigong and Tai Chi Chuan Day. We're gonna continue into the first part of Tai Chi Chuan. With the, this is a, it's a classical Yang style Tai Chi Chuan that I'm teaching. We're learning actually from Dr. Yang Junyun. So we have done all the way to number 11. So there are 22 movements in the first part. There's three parts, okay? So it's like a beginner. You start learning the first part, which is 22 movements. So you start changing out the memorization. You can start remember things because it's a whole phrase now. So it's not an individual movement anymore. Gradually put, a, of course, put an individual movement. So it's like a, a paragraph, right? From a sentence to a paragraph and connect to the whole article, right? So now, um, I'm going to start, we're actually going to learn today the next, uh, another three, four movement actually. There are three of them kind of similar. So from the 15, a uh, movement 12 to 15, I'm sorry, I rehearsed so many times that my number is going crazy in my mind. Okay, so number 12 to 13, 14, 15. So that's what we're gonna learn today. We're actually gonna travel a lot, but my room is kind of small. So I'm really hoping this uh, next week will be, next Sunday will be Easter Sunday, so go into the April. Hopefully next Saturday, the weather's a little warmer and I can um, demonstrate next uh, outdoor. So I have room to travel because up to, I'm pretty much done to 15, number 15. I have to keep going and there's no more room. I don't want to get confused and come back and move, come back and move. So let's see what happens if the if weather's too cold. And I will try to clean up from the movement 1 to movement 15. So it's never hurt to learn the right, right? So repeat. Okay, so basically three things you always have to remember. I love to use the reverse abdominal breathing. Okay, so the reverse abdominal breathing really correlates with the spine movement nicely, okay? And, uh, and then rooting, right? They all work together. So reverse the downward breathing. So you wanna, you wanna inhale gentle, lift the pelvis before the tummy goes in. So you low, open that lower back, so you release all tension. Soon as you release that, the energy stuff flows up to the spine. Guess what? Another energy going down to root. So that reverse the downward breathing Charging up, we call the first responder. When I teach uh, injury-free exercise based on uh, the Pilates and the strengthening work, and we call the first responder. In the TCM, we call the lower dantian. So also lower dantian, which is your battery. This is where you charge up your energy. So you want to use that reverse down the breathing, really right, charging up your energy. Everything is about energy. So we try to learn the movement or exercise that can charge up energy that is spent special, you know, to a certain age, you would like to have energy throughout the day, bright eye and mind very clear, right? So here we go. That's why we talk about Tai Chi Chuan, so important, and the Qigong. And um, so here we go. If you like find more Qigong exercise, go to my playlist. You will see a lot of contemporary Qigong developed by me, how it relates to all your internal organ health. Tai Chi Chuan too. The more you know, the more you understand. As soon as you move the whole spine, right? That vagus nerve, the whole central nerve system goes to every part of your body. The nerves come out. So the energy, right, moves through your blood, which you carry the oxygen to every single cell, and also moves through the nerve, right? to help your mind stay sharp, every muscle and the movement, right, your spine, all happy. Have a healthy, happy, healthy, happy body. You will have a healthy, positive mind. And uh, all your family, friends like to spend time with you, okay? We love your friendship and you can also help them. I'm gonna go from the beginning to what we finished last week. And then we're gonna talk about what we're gonna to do today. So I'm gonna use up the room, so I'm gonna go all the way to the right side, because I need a lot of space. So okay, start with a five checkpoint. Your arm on thigh, thumbs forward. 
you hit suspend from above. Okay, so ready? Reverse the downward breathing. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy. Exhale, and bend both legs. And slowly peel the left foot off on the inhale. Right leg, lower the left foot down on the exhale. You can adjust a little bit so you see my legs a little wider than my hip and shoulder and nice and tall. Still five check point, except the leg a little wider, that's all. Inhale, another reverse down of breathing. Exhale, bend your knee, you create this Wu Qi position, no extremity. So that's setting up the preparation for Tai Chi Chuan. Here we go. Inhale, beginning of the Tai Chi. And exhale, release all the way down. You start transfer the weight. So remember, it's all connected. I'm going to pivot on the right heel and then rounding a little bit palm and goes into grass spell tails right. We say you line chi wei. Transfer the weight to the right, little kick or step. Going to the step to the right shoulder. You ready? I'm going to pivot. With right hand right next to your cheek, pawn again. So from the horse stance, go into draw a uh, grass spell tails left. So it's draw line chi wei. And pawn. That's called ward off. Little kick again. Step to the left shoulder. You can see diagonal back. Pawn again. Pivot that leg. This is lu, which you roll back right here. You bring somebody down. And signature, get ready. So this movement, the leg is called Siliu Bu. Press will go into the Den San Bu. But make sure your fingers is wrapping, okay? Don't stick up, you get in trouble. Brush the hands off your right hand. Siliu Bu again. Push the back leg, go into Den San Bu. So sometimes we call that rocking set. You go into the single whip. So I'm gonna pivot on the heel, bring the right toes forward. I go into very deep squat. And so deep my horse stance. Here we go, poke. And in mid to out. This is what you learned last week called lift hand to out posture. And pong. And rotate, grab for the neck. And a little shin kick. And crane spreads wing. You know how the crane and the bird, so hollow tummy. And they fight with the wind their wing and inhale i'm going to brush the right knee prepare the right arm this is my right arm and ready and we emit out i'm just going into what you're going to learn today now I'll break it down so next movement comes we we'll call playing the lute sometimes they playing the guitar okay inhale we'll break down for you so this is called so hui pi pa in chinese and brush the right knee, I'm um, left knee again, sorry. And <laughs> step forward and in the towel. So movement 14. And circle the arm, twist the body. So I'm in the sitting cross leg position. You don't need to go all the way down because you're not going to move. And brush the right knee and in the towel. So that's you, Lo Xi Ao Bu. Repeat the same thing to the right side. So you circle the arm. Twist the body into a sitting on the cross leg. Transfer weight to the front leg. Brush the left knee. And again, you emit, pivot the back leg, emit the energy out. So what happened? So that's called the Zhuo Lo Xi Ao Bu. Okay? So I'm going to break it down now. Then we'll keep linking in with review again from the beginning. So today we're going to learn the movement from uh, 12 to 15. So we finish what? I'm going to start right here. We finish brush the left knee and emit energy out. Okay? Today, it's, it's a movement it's called playing the lute. I, I don't want to say guitar, uh, you know, because I think a Renaissance has the lute too, so kind of similar shape. We we'll call it pipa. And it's, it's kind of like a guitar. So a Westerns guitar, they play this way. The lute, you have to play sitting down. You put it upright on the thigh and you strong the string, okay, the string. We have a lot of string uh, instrument too in China and uh, Chinese culture. So you're playing the lute. We use that image into the uh, martial art fighting, okay, so self-defense. <clears throat> so you just finish 
last week if right here okay so we're going to train so this is arrow stance so I'm gonna rotate the arm so there's a lot of spiral this is how you get yourself out instead of fighting with people like this so from here so I just finish right I send my, so I offer my hands right they grab and I go oh get out so here you get this your hands out slowly you step so you step into it then this arm okay help yourself right so you protect yourself and or omit right so you're gonna from here hollow your tongue and you playing the loop so now you like you're playing the loop but that's the whole thing you want to do that one more time so you brush the left knee and you emit out ready little leading with the wrist so you're gonna drop the elbow you see that beautiful spiral and actually come from the whole arm from the shoulder joint so clean the humerus joint that laggly rotate drop the elbow energy out through here so you don't just do this does that make sense ah so not much, much more powerful from here that's the right hand step in right you don't go away say i'm i'm not afraid of you you can grab me okay i'm coming in they go oh, right so here you go you go step in you're gonna do lightly rotate loop so it's safer you don't want to go like this you see it doesn't look good. I look like oh, I have to go. Right? So from here and right here, you go. You take yourself right out. Turn the body a little bit. Right? So you can, you don't want to go face in front. So turn the body a little bit. Okay. Brrr, here we go. And you finish. So you go. Right? So you protect yourself. Comes in and you can emit. Not look like you're playing the lute. You stop. This can be also a kick anytime. It's also called a false stance anytime false stance that means there are things you can do here we're going to repeat that movement one more time so you finish from last week right here ready nice and smooth inhale exhale right from connect energy from the leg comes up from the center i'm gonna emit right out so it's playing the loop the chinese is Show hui pi pa. Show hui pi pa. Okay, hui strong. Okay, now ready? We're going to brush the left knee, which you learned last week. We brush the left knee, prepare. This arm go back, right? You remember that? And rotate the body. So from the leg, in the tail. Okay, so that's the 13 movement. It's show hui pi pa, which playing the loose, number 12. Then 13, I'm going to do the 14, 10 and 4. Okay, so I did here. Circle the arm, right? You see that rotation? It just take you. You circle the arm. You circle the arm, twist the body, get ready. So I'm in the sitting cross leg position. Brush the right knee this time. Prepare this arm, turn the body, and you middle. So that's called... You low xi ao bu. Same thing to the right side. Circle the arm, twist the body, transfer the weight to the front leg. You go zhuo low xi ao bu. So brush the left leg and step forward. Go. That's it today. Okay. So sometime we can practice if I have room. So. We just practice that movement. So let's do that a couple of times, okay? So today, okay, let's, let me do this side first. Circle around, twist the body. Can you see that? So if somebody grab you, get ready. You see that? You go, get ready. Then you go, get ready. And get ready. So it's very natural movement, but we've done it so slow, so you don't see natural, right? So what happens is you slowly, like learning English, it's so articulate every single, right? Um, um, the, how you, I think that's the hardest part for us Chinese to learn English is that articulation, and, you know, um, section by section and connect it together, right? So it's really pretty. So ready? You're going to circle this arm. So I'm going to rotate that one. The arm is actually come from body. So I'm going to go like this. Okay, you ready? Circle arm, twist the body. 
See, together. It's actually come from the feet. And guess what? You transfer weight, you brush. And then you step. Remember from here? Right? You don't offer yourself. You go like this. And go like this. You don't go like this, right? You're always twisting. Now this side, circle the arm, twist the body. Brush that leg. And then again in the towel. Let's do it again. So you can practice this in your home or outside in the park and go. Sorry. One more time. Circle the arm, twist the body. So just remember that sitting cross, sitting on the cross leg. Brush, brush, hollow tummy. So you're really getting ready. Whoosh, goes out. Okay? So you can practice just that steps over and over. So when you start putting it together, it's not a stranger to you, okay? So, last week we finished. Brush the right knee, sorry, sorry. Brush the right knee, brush the left knee, get together, chin, and comes up. So you ready? Today, we learn in playing the lute. So, hui pi pa. Step down, laterally, so your knees point, what? Diagonal a little bit. Okay, and then the other arm comes in. Either kick, heel down. So you brush the left knee again. And go. You ready? Circle the left. Twist the body. Right? So you're sitting cross, sitting on the cross leg. Brush. Sorry. Brush. Brush the right knee. And go. And the right side. Circle the arm. Twist the body. So do like almost look like you're sitting on the cross leg. Brush the left, emit all the way out, shoulders down, and that's it. So that's today from the 12th movement, the 12th movement to the 15th. There are 22 movements, like say, you, you, you learn, we're inching in quite well, right? Little by little. So Tai Chi training is not very easy, looks very easy, or sometimes looks like nothing. And it's thinking like you're just feeling the air, right? There's so much more to it. So if you're interested, you really keep studying. There's a lot of books. I already upload Dr. Yang's uh, uh, complete classical Tai Chi Chen. You can get his book from Amazon and uh, start to go into the detail. There's so much more than I can do on a short video. Okay, I'm going to start from the beginning to the end of today's lesson. lesson. So from beginning the Tai Chi into movement 15. Okay, I'm gonna start way out here on the right side of the room. Five checkpoint, nice and tall. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy. Exhale, get ready. Inhale again, it's so important. This little preparation is bring your mind Connect to the body and with the breath. One more reverse downward breathing. Inhale. We start, prepare into that Wuji position, no extremity. So your mind is clear. You start doing your meditation. So meditate through the moon by focus. Okay, so right here. Ready? Inhale, beginning of a Tai Chi start, rotate. So keep learning that rotation from the shoulder joint into the hand. So Inhale, exhale, deepening the horse stance and transfer weight. So I can freely pivot on the heel. I'm going to grasp spiral tails right. Draw that yo line, chair weight. Comes in, kick. Continue transition into grass spiral tails left. Draw line, chair weight. Pong. So turn, transition into another palm first, going to the ward off. Four, six stands here, so slow boot. And a little signature piece. Continue, stay back in the four, four six stands, right? And push forward. D, shift your weight back again. Four, six stands into arrow stands and settle the wrist. Okay, G, this is An. Single whip, Dan Bin. Deepening the horse stance. 
continue follow this Ramyeon way, you go poop, and inhale, exhale, prepare. Last week, we learned lift hand to up posture. So ready, here you go, prepare, hollow tummy. So lift everything through the spine. Lift hand, you grab, pull the neck and your shin kick. And lift hand posture, so it's called a T Shou Shang Shi. Then we're going to the crane express wing. And here we go. Bai He Liang Qi. Okay, brush the left knee. So bounce on this leg. So you can. And ready? This surprise comes right in. Today, we're adding what? Playing the lute. Show Hui Pi Pa. And go. Ready? Hollow your tummy. Again. Now brush the left knee again. So draw low Xi. Elbow. Step forward. Okay, you ready? Circle the left arm. Twist the body to sitting on the cross leg. Brush the right knee. So you low Xi. Elbow. Same thing to the right side, but you brush the left knee. So twist, circle the arm, twist the body, balance. This leg is so strong. Brush the left knee, step forward, emit. So that would be zhuo lo xi ao bu. So, whoa, right? We have a nice phrase now. So I'm going to do one last time. Start in the Wu Ji position. Okay, so the preparation you already know how. So I'm going to start right here. So hopefully I finish a little more room. So you can go nice and tall. Five checkpoint. Bend your knee. So go to the Wu Ji position from no extremity. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy. So I'm going to go a little slower. Beginning the Tai Chi. Slowly transfer weight. Pivot on the right heel and get ready and grasp spiral tails right. Yu line chui wei. Hollow your tummy, bounce on the right leg, little kick. Comes in, transitions through the horse stance into uh, uh, grass spiral tails left. Zhuo line chui wei. Pong. Which is ward up, ward off. Another one here. Go into the roll back, which is lu, and circle. And ji is mean to so press is ji. And shift your way back. One more. Set of the wrist is an. Single whip, dan bian. Deepening the squat. Finishing up here. Inhale, exhale, emit. Next movement, lift hand to up posture. In, X. So, T Shou Shang Shi. And crane spreads wing. Bai He Liang Qi. Exhale. Ready? Brush the left knee. And step forward. Zhuo lo xi ao bu. Playing the lute. And finish. So, shou hui pi pa. Brush the left knee. And step forward. Circle the left arm that twist the body to sitting on the cross leg. Transfer all your way to the left, brush the right knee, you low xi ao bu. Circle the right arm, twist the body, brush the left knee, so transfer away right, so zhuo low xi ao bu. Okay, so keep repeating. From the video, is that me keep repeating? You can replay the video and going over and over. Um, so show hui pi pa is today, which is English is playing the lute. 
stronger guitar. The Western guitar is this way, the Chinese this way, and the other string, you know, Erhu, right? It's all kind of upright sitting playing and uh, sitting down to play. So, Shou Hui Pi Pao, playing the lute, you learned today. Brush the left knee, step forward, right? Yeah, okay, now then, circle around, twist the body, brush the right knee, Yu Lo Xiao Bu. Circle the arm, twist the body, almost like sitting cross leg, right? Brush the left knee, finish up. Now, Zhuo Lo Xiao Bu, Zhuo is mean left. In the Chinese and English language, Chinese, we well, like our last name is always present first. Direction always present first. So when you write in English, you say grass spell tails right and grass spell tail left. But we all say you, which is right. You, right, line chui, draw line chui. So you're gonna hear the direction first instead of last. So kind of like reverse. But that's okay, so sometimes you think a little bit. Okay, so that's it for today. And hope you enjoyed Taiji Trend so far. And uh, feels a little better, feel like the world is opened up little by little. Keep building your immune system, okay? If you're strong, if you're strong, that's organic. That's all the organic stuff. Your body has what? Natural killer cells, okay? Then you have lymphocyte, the lymphatic system which is like a what, sanit sanitation system of the city. You, you, you sell dump the garbage, you put in the front door, and the lymphatic draining lymph come in to collect them and dump it out in your body, okay? Through sweat and you know, in your own stuff. So elimination, right? So you, you, you have all this stuff in you, but if you call mobility, if you don't feel well, you're tired, the most important thing is what? Breathing, nutrition, exercise. It's really important. If you do this while you exercise, you will sleep well, okay? Because your body's tired and you have a really good night's sleep are so important. Any hour before 12, midnight, okay? is two hours compared to the hour after. So you have to go to sleep, you should go to sleep at least 10 o'clock. So 10 to 11, 11 to 12, that's two hours, time two, four hours already. Now you get into that REM sleep so much easier. So you need to prepare yourself for bedtime by 9.30. Turn off, don't have television in your bedroom, okay? Cell phone, you charge it in the other room. If you have to use it as an alarm waking you up, turn, you know, put on the airplane mode, okay? So there's so much, you know, like EMF, this other invisible energy is depleting our energy because it's energy, but it's not artificial, it's artificial, it's not real. So we have to defend ourselves, right? Even, even it's so helpful, we have to know how much to use and when not to use, special at night. Those blue light from the television, your cell phone, your computer, those are we living with, right? And uh, it really disturbing you, so we zap your energy. So blue lights are really good during the day, right? So our ancestors already know, on Chinese we say, zao shui, zao qi, right? Let's go sleep early so you get up early. In the old days, farmer, they, they live with a circadian rhythm. That means what? Follow the sun, follow the season, right? So now, if you follow, you'll be part of nature, right? So there's three power, Tian, heaven, mankind, ren, di, Tian, ren, di. So there's three power harmonized together. We have to. Weather doesn't listen to us. <laughs> okay, earthquake or earth, you know, whatever happened, it doesn't listen to us. We have to adjust. That means we have to be so strong. And humankind and the earth, right, and the heaven, We've been sharing life for a long time. So virus, uh, toxicity, and uh, mold, right? So all this stuff is making us strong for millions, millions of years. So hopefully we adapt to it, you know? So no fear and keep practice. 
you need to exercise just to move. If you start with walking, you know, walking half hour first, but learn how to walk properly. I, I already taught you. There's a lot of video you can find out. Don't walk the heel down, then you get lower back problem and you don't want to walk, your knee hurts, right? Because you're doing wrong. You have to do it right and sleep well. If you don't exercise, you can't sleep well. So you want to get that REM sleep, right? Breathing, nutrition, exercise, those three things. Balance off. Don't eat junk because that's also really important. Three hours before bedtime, no food, okay? Your dinner is six o'clock. Remember we say, do not eat after dark. Summertime is a little harder, right? So you're gonna just thinking about it. So five o'clock dinner, six o'clock latest, and done. No, you don't need snack, you don't need shao ye. Those will keep you awake because your, your body keep, right? Working, digesting, so you can't sleep well. Then you have bad dreams. You wanna have good dreams. You want to dream that make you comfortable, make you smile. You don't want to have nightmare. You don't want to go, right? So it's not good. You wake up, you feel like you never slept because you had a fight over at night. So there's so many things can influence your sleep. During sleep, your body heals. Baby does that a lot, right? Babies just born, they sleep all the time because they grow, they grow, they develop. We're gonna be like that. So learn how to sleep properly. No lights in the bedroom. If if your husband, wife like to read or so watching TV, just tell them, explaining everything to them. Or you put a iPad, right? Eye mask on. You don't want any light so you can get a good night's sleep. In the morning, 4 30, 5 o'clock, wake up time. You're ready for the day because you're so passionate about your health. And lucky to be alive, right? So gratitude start coming in to become the best miracle keeper of this beautiful small universe. Okay, that's it. No more talking. Take care. Take care. I'll see you next week.